Will Stone will get us started. Giles Jackson set to receive. We are underway in San Antonio, and this kick is short, but a fair catch taken. Wayne Talapapa is his running back, and they'll start off with a pitch back with a flea flicker. He's going to unload deep, and it is caught for a first down by Jalen Polk. A 34-yard strike to start the game. You're looking at it in practice, like, oh, is it going to work? Is it going? I don't know. Is it going to work? And man, under pressure, Michael Penix, a great throw, and Anthony Cook there, the safety for Texas, came over, almost made a great play on the ball, but Jalen Polk. Really the third receiver for Washington. He's dynamic too, but great job bringing that one in. They bring four. Penick stays in the pocket and is picked off. Darren Thompson with his first pick of the season. Deep to coordinate for Texas. Does that little radar look. Everybody's standing up. No pressure there, but just some confusion on the back end. I think that route, Michael Penix expected that one to in space through the air, kind of running back. Yours gets taken down. Oh, it's a great job by Trice working off the left side of your screen there. One on one with the tight end. Well, actually, they're trying to double the tight end there. Gunner Helm and Jatavian Sanders. Trice just, Trice just splits. Misjudged the speed. Washington blocks it. They set the house, and the Huskies will pounce on it. And they'll have it inside the 30. Watch the looper right here. He's going to loop around. Little stunt. You see that a lot with defensive linemen and pass rush. Don't see it a ton on special teams. And nobody there. Yulofosio came in to get it. He was a blue chip recruit a few years ago, but has been beset by injuries and back on the field tonight. And a big block for the dogs. And now they got it at the 30 yard line. Late clock now at three. Second team all Pac 12 kicker. They get it off in time. And that one is good. Ewers swings it out. Nice catch and a big first down for Casey Kane. And he takes it down the sideline to set up Texas at the 10 yard line. A 27 yard game. Kane, he's a receiver lining up in the backfield. Some confusion for the Washington linebackers about who to identify, who's got the back out of the backfield. It's a receiver. Just a great job of having that play and calling it quick, not letting Washington adjust. So Burt Auburn, who's fifth of the Big 12 in field goal percentage on to attempt a 30-yarder. And the chip shot is good. Texas has answered Washington's score. Longhorns bring only four. Penix lets it go, and that is caught on the sideline by Rome Odunze. It's a pickup of 12 for the dogs this year and a safety blanket for Michael Penix Jr. He wants the drive route there. It's covered kind of late. Gets the comeback all the way across the field. It's a big time throw and a great job by Odunze going up getting both. On second and six Talapapa back in. He's got a stiff arm a first down and more. Talapapa to the end zone. Touchdown Huskies from 42 yards. Right here on the double team. Moving the defensive tackle out of the way, creating a huge hole in Talapapa. Not the most athletic, not a home run hitter, but does a great job of getting north and south and right there. He said midway through your career as a head coach, you learn to be your own man and your own voice. He's tied in Sanders and a big gain for a Texas first down on a pickup of 16. Watts lined up with Odunze on the near side. Tyler Papa will run it, and he's got a big game. Cole, what have you seen from this UW offensive line this year? Empty backfield. On third and six over the middle. Caught for a first down. Odunze, pickup of 18. Held to just one touchdown in the first half. And the chip shot is good for Henry. Washington given that stand up look. Ewers has nowhere to go at the moment. Then he sli slips one out to Worthy. Held on to this one and took it for a gain of 21. Being really accurate with a short passing game. Play action again. 
and he's able to give it out to Jonathan Brooks. Brooks all the way! Touchdown, Texas! He's front free for a 34-yarder in the first touchdown of the night for the Longhorns. And who needs a shot play when you can dump it off for three yards? And Jonathan Brooks takes it the rest of the way. And Texas starting this second half with a bang on the board. 13-10. Going to be low. Who's going to be high? Penix slips it out to the tight end. Westover, and it goes up in the air. Lost the football. They say he was down. There was a clear and immediate recovery by Texas if they changed their mind via review. Top of your screen, fake block, and then sneak back to the middle of the field. Similar to that double fake screen attacking the middle. Linebacker then takes his eyes off him, then he sneaks back inside. Penix swings it out to Davis, and he's in. Huskies answer with a touchdown throw from six yards. Westover did the dirty work to get him there. But he's willing to do the dirty work as well. And that's more like the Washington we're used to seeing. Capping a 13-play drive. The notoriety that he came here with from Ohio State adds more pressure. There's Robinson out of the backfield, picks up a first. Talapapa, fantastic vision, and he'll carry it for a Washington first down on a gain of 13. Penix looking that way to the slant, and it is... Caught! A touchdown for McMillan. Got a ride on the shoe tops. An eight-yard strike from Penix to Jalen McMillan. That defender then backs off McMillan. Gives him Whoa. a little more space. How about the hand to keep that one from hitting the ground? A heck of a catch. Not an accurate ball for Michael Penix, but wow. And a lot of times after a drop like that, you just need an easy one like this. And there it is. And Worthy takes it inside the 40. The drops are nothing new. Entering tonight, Worthy with 15 drops of the last two seasons. On uh, second and 10, over the middle, wide open. A Texas first down inside the 10. Ball out late, but Gunner Helm. The running back and how it pulls these defenders, and then the tight end is able to sneak right into that vacancy. All those defenders go with the running back, three of them. It's Brooks again, and he will churn and end up in the painted end zone. Three-yard touchdown plunge in the Longhorns. Spend just three minutes, they get back in the scoring column. Working with left guard Hayden Connor, climbs up to the second level, takes care of the linebackers, and helps the Horns find the end zone. Season. And Auburn punches this one through. Huskies drop two safeties back to midfield. Ewers unloads. They're just going Hail Mary, and that one is caught. And the clock shows triple zeros. Casey Kane with the. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.